Eric Gonzalez Kramer is now um, spotlighted so that everyone can see and hear you uh, and your story, which I will say, you know, I don't cry a lot. I didn't cry when reading it, but damn, I got misty'd, misty-eyed. <laughs> Um, I do cry while reading it. I hope that's not horribly conceited of me. Um, but yeah, I'm Eric Gonzalez Kramer. Um, I wrote the short story, The Good Life of Duke. And uh, it's a story about um, isolation, loss, acceptance, and uh, a very special dog. So I'll go ahead and just read a really short snippet from the very beginning. Um, all you need to know is uh, Tom, a uh, lonely Lyft driver um, adrift in LA, is a uh, on the sidewalk when he sees a dog get hit by a car at night. Um, and I worked my arms under the dog's sharp hips and bony shoulders and gingerly picked them up, retreating to the sidewalk. Shuffling over to my car, I laid him in the back seat and jumped behind the steering wheel. I swiveled into the road and raced away. My adrenaline was pumping so hard I hadn't even given a thought to where I would go. Before I knew it, I was southbound on the 101, speedometer hovering around 90. During rush hour, I never bothered to slog through clogged LA arteries like the 101, but in the middle of the night, I sped past all but the most pedal-happy drivers. I plunged down an exit ramp near Elysium Park and wove through blocks that randomly alternated between million-dollar homes and lackluster apartment buildings, before parking in front of one of the latter and carrying the dog inside. The dog stirred when I entered my studio apartment. Picking a box of clothes aside, I placed them on my carpet and stepped back. His eyes slowly opened. Are you all right? I asked. The dog's left ear lifted slightly. Yeah, the dog said. So uh, that is how Tom meets Duke, uh, as I said, a very special dog. And um, yeah, I, I, it's definitely, I think we're all drawn to stories where the main characters transform. And I definitely think um, these two characters learn from each other and transform over the course of this story. And I've been learning my, I wrote this, when I was going through a period of isolation and loss and needing acceptance. And I kind of wrote this story um, and, and incorporated a, a wise old dog that my family used to own. Um, his name was not Duke, but uh, he's very much inspired by that dog. And, uh, and I've, I think uh, many people obviously are dealing with increased um, isolation and uh, varying levels of loss. And we're all kind of grappling with that. And so I kind of, find myself learning all over again the things I was trying to teach myself when I first wrote this uh, short story. So thank you, Cody, and the rest of the Made in LA writers team for including this short story. I think it's more relevant than ever, and I hope um, everyone watching uh, reads it in the anthology and uh, enjoys it and learns from it too.